What's up, you guys? Let me see if I can switch this up. What's up? Let me get you guys ready here. Let me get myself ready. All right, so what's up? I don't know. I just felt like uh, this is something I wanted to do. And I haven't eaten, so I'm, I'm eating at little halls because I wish I had some candy right now. A little something, something to um, hold me over for a minute while we go look around. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Uh, it was an hour and a half drive. Um, this is Canton, Texas. They do this every first Monday of the of the month, which is the weekend before the first Monday. So they do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is the first Monday of the month. So those of you guys watching, thanks a lot for being here. I have my phone up and down. And so hopefully it, you can see this. You guys good? Everyone can see it. Hit that like button for me. Thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite groomer. We had some puppies on February 3rd, 2023. And I was thinking about what they do here. Cause someone was telling me, hey, you know, I took my puppies out to, to Canton and got rid of them there, right? And I pulled up a couple videos about um, puppies in Canton. And now you're gonna just see for yourself how they do it. Here's some tips when you're driving down here or up here when you're driving out to Canton. I took the Athens exit. I also went past the yellow parking lot, which is West Yellow parking lot, Westgate. And then you're gonna go past the yellow, um, come through a, get to a stop sign, take a left or a light and take a left, come down that road, go through one light. And right after that light, you're gonna see, it's like highway 64. It's on 64. The It's called Dog Alley. It's on Highway 64. And it's right after like a, a little cute turquoise cheek store. Like literally, it's like right there. The alley is just like right there. With Just look for dogs. Look for puppies. So I looked at a couple videos. And I w really need you to hear me out on this. Um, one, when I get home, I'm probably not going to use my same shoes inside my house because I'll be walking around where there's a lot of exposure. Two, I don't want to stand out here in the heat too long because, you know, devices don't love that. So then we're going to get moving. But the next thing is um, come prepared. There's, they usually charge for parking. So I'm going to take up a spot here that's two hour, two hour limit because I really just want to walk through and get ideas. I've seen a couple videos of how it goes and I wanted to see for myself. I also feel like when people are doing something for a living, they're usually good at it. So I wanted to see for myself how they are maintaining the puppies, how they are kenneling them, how they are caging them, what materials they're using. And I didn't even think about this, but like on my in my salon, myfavoritegroomer.com, you can shop there. I hang a lot of stuff up on pegboard, slat wall, grid wall. And you'll see one of the cool ideas that I saw, which is the grid wall turned sideways, zip tied together, to pin the animal instead of buying these really expensive cheap crap metal that's really thin that will rust and it, it'll rust, rust anyway and spending 50 60 70 80 90 dollars depending on how tall that grate is on a, and i'll have the links in my description of the video of a lot of the things that i've seen people do with the puppies so to me this is really cool to see other people doing it so let's go ahead and get started it's five minutes already dd let's go so we're in can texas Again, let, let me go right back to changing my shoes. So cl what I learned working for veterinarians is spraying your sh Actually, there will be a room where there was Parvo in that room. And Parvo can kill puppies, especially puppies that are not fully vaccinated yet. Puppy, uh, Parvo, a veterinarian taught me, Parvo can live dormant in the ground. And another breeder said, Didi, it lives in the ground for 100 years. Because I, I was thinking, five years. And she said, 100 years, Parvo. And I said, well, do your own research, okay? Hearsay, hearsay is one thing, but do some research. Parvo can kill your dog. And even my doodles, when I picked them up in Seattle, drove to Texas, it was really hard to let them go pee. And we really didn't. And when I got to Texas, when I took them in to get vaccinations, I, at 30 pounds when they were puppies, at one point I'm like, we're not, I'm carrying them in. I'm not letting them touch the ground. And that's how picky I am. So the way I'm raising my puppies is one thing. So when I get home from walking in this whole alley, I am not wearing my shoes inside my house. I'm gonna Clorox bleach the bottom of my shoes. Just like the veterinarian that I work for, one of them was like, 
this room when you go in and out when you come out you step in this litter box with clorox bleach and paper towels in there it's like you just step in it okay i was told uh someone told me this you can research your own be accountable for your own research but someone said when i was working at that that particular veterinarian they're like clorox bleach is the only thing that kills parvo so i was like oh okay good to know right so just food for thought but let's go ahead and walk through the i'm only doing dog alley today because again it's already the sun's beaming this is the hottest part of the day phone batteries die and stuff like that so we're gonna walk through together and hopefully you guys are okay on heat and it's my phone is already frying which is why i yeah exactly so i was thinking about the whole puppy thing with um let me see let me get one thing before i go i was thinking about the whole puppy thing down here and then i I seen this one video where the, it said bad day, Canton, Texas puppy bad day. So I guess they, I don't know if they bought their, yeah, the lady said, we're gonna take our puppy back. So I know if they bought a puppy. Well, forgive me for saying just for myself, but when you have, when you, bro, I've done everything with my puppies online. I've done everything online with my puppies. Meaning you got to see like everything when it came to the puppies on my live YouTube channel. So it's funny how if you go buy a puppy and you don't know where they've been or what they've been up to and what has been going on and how clean or not clean that they are. Um, this particular video, they said, started doing Pepto-Bismol. The dog had, the puppy had diarrhea when we got home last night. And then this morning started diarrhea, vomiting. These are all really clear signs that that's parvo like really clear and now they're doing this pepto but there's nothing you can do to fix parvo so i didn't watch the end of that video but i was like okay food for thought i might want to walk through here and get some ideas but at the same time don't think that for a minute that there ain't parvo anywhere around puppies always have your guard up and also when you come and approach a puppy like for me i'm not going to walk up and touch every single puppy like touch here touch there go to the next guy touch here touch there i'm not doing that i'm here to look i want to look i don't want to bring something home to the puppies i have right so let's go go ahead and let's let's just walk through let's have fun it was um a little drive but i really wanted to take some time for myself but also like bring you guys along so i'll switch you guys up well i parked over here two hour limit can mp can you give me a two hour limit not that i was planning on being here that long but give me a two hour limit and let's just walk through hopefully there's not a sign later on when we get there that says, uh, it's like, where did I park? It's on Buffalo, be downtown. So usually I would take a screenshot of where I parked so I don't get lost. Uh, that's a big, a gray, white building. We're looking at, um, hey, what's up, my favorite groomer? Okay, we're off of Grand Celine and Buffalo. All right, let's go. Man, I hope I got those directions right. Let me think. I went there, and I'm pretty sure it's straight down there. I, f I feel like it's straight past that. Head east there. on West Tyler Street. Uh, South Buffalo Street. You guys still with me here? Grand Celine Buffalo. Tell me you're still with me, because it, it just did some weird stuff. That's how hot it is already. I ain't even got there yet. Come on. Come on, device. Gee, are you going to let me stop, go like walk across? Jerk. I didn't think that guy was going to freaking stop. Man, if I... Let me get my coordination right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's way down there. I'm pretty sure it's way down there. Was that guy going to run the stop sign? Man, people are just so rude sometimes. I'm all lost. I just got here. Just got here and my phone is stupid. I don't like devices that cannot keep up, man. You spend a couple thousand on a dang phone and it should do what it needs to do. It's a handheld computer, you know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This Pony Espresso. Ooh. Cafe. That's pretty cool. It's an old bank. That is super cool. Look at that. That is super neat. It's got a drive through. What do we got going on over here? What do you guys meet to? And I can't, so just so you know, like 
it's so bright out that when you look at the phone it's so dull like i can't it, i'm not even seeing it so y'all i can glance but just so you know sometimes i don't i had to restart the video me too hello everyone okay cool that's weird but it didn't it said do you want to resume where you want yeah I'm, I'm headed the right direction so i'll just remember to come straight up back this this road right here straight back to my car and at some point i'm gonna tell you right now when you have heat your device doesn't when you have heat your device doesn't hold up to hold up to it so at some point you're gonna be like i might lose you guys so maybe i should start running <laughs> I'm gonna start running right now. Okay. If anything, I could be like, dude, I'm FaceTiming my friends. Like, pfft. what? The smell? There's something that smells like really good right here. Let's see here. Something right here smells delicious. Keep chatting so I know you guys are there. Keep chatting because when it pops up on the screen, at least I can see something. I ain't, I'm not gonna try to touch nothing. I am not trying to touch nothing. Go, 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 go. Go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go, here. Oh, look at those puppies. Wow, they're quiet. There's Jack Russell. Hey, was those Husky? Husky is cool. How old are they? Seven weeks? Seven weeks. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, thank you. Okay, you guys paying attention? Smash that like button, thank you. Okay, so check it out. Look how many people are looking. Hold on here, let me quit moving. Look at all those people, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Dude, hey, 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 dudes, for real. All right, for real, man. Check it out, like, they they were, um, <laughs> I'm talking on live on YouTube, DD. I'm like, what are you trying to whisper for, you freaking idiot? So, they got, um, huskies right there. They're seven weeks old. My, my, my dogs, my puppies are bigger than them already. And mine are, this guy's, I hate cigarette smoke now, but, that guy right there they have those huskies my puppies are bigger than them and my puppies will be okay they're seven weeks though that's why okay so my puppies will be eight weeks old in two days okay 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 oh oh so if you enter from the street over there there's a street over there if you enter from the street over there you can't even see like you can see the people and you can see the puppies and stuff like that. Ooh, see that little girl trying to touch that dog? That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea, people. Not a, and they should be touching all the puppies. Not a good idea. People just don't know. Puppy Marketplace. So if you look, you can look at, um, you can look up Puppy Marketplace and then you can know exactly how to get up in here. So what I've been recently doing is, oh, hold on. So this is Dorky, Dork, Dotson Yorkie for 375, Dotson 5 to 600, female Yorkie Poo, female Yorkie Poo for 600, Dotson 5 to 600. Oh my gosh, look at those. 600 or 415, oh, females are 600, males are 415. Look at those shit they're Oh, she's, they're trembling a little bit, but she, yellow, really yellow from urine. So um, notice the cages that we're using here and the cage, like um, the flooring and the puppy pads underneath with a pan. It's a metal pan. What's this? Um, Yorkie Poo, males and females, 375 versus 450. They got Cheerios inside there. Pup females, pup females, fat fifty, multi poo, multi poo, three eighty five. You ain't eating Cheerios. Is that because it's just? Oh, look at that one! Look at that one! Look at that cute one! What's that? Pomeranian. Oh my! 
Yorkie males 800 Pomeranian 750. So like the Yorkie here, like how old is this? This is eight weeks. Oh my gosh, they're so tiny for eight weeks. Oh, thank you. And we got these guys. Labradoodles 285, Golden Doodle 285. Morky Shih Tzu, three months female, 300. There's a lot of Cheerios, bro. I don't, I don't know that it, I might cheat my, oh, it's, it's this is, um, they got these umbrellas here. There's, they're in the sun, it's really hot. Teddy bear males, females, four or five hundred. Um, Pika she males, three fifty females, four seventy five. Pika ni shitsu, she okay. She malt, you read Yorkie poo. Yorkie chihuahua, two fifty. She malt three fifty, two eighty five. Is that Snoodle? 285. Look at that. Oh my gosh. P Toy Poodle Terrier 60. Okay. Thank you. So here we're using a tarp with shredded paper. Okay. Pomeranian? Cute. What's the price? What's the price? Take 700? Okay. Thank you. You only have one left? Or did you only have one? Oh, uh, we're just looking. I have two. We should all blend it. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. See how they're using the grid wall here? So you got Old English, I O E B A registered Old English Bulldog. How old? 17 weeks. 17 weeks, okay. And house broken. And house broken. What's that? Potty train? Female? How much? Thousand. Thousand? Okay. How much was the um, rental to rent the space? Well, he rented me for 40 because I didn't have all the property. Really? Normally, I think it was six, uh, 75. 75 bucks to bring your puppy. This is all provided? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Cool. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, come over here. Golden Doodles. The tarp is underneath with the puppy pad. Looks like uh, basset hounds, look. Frenchies, those are popular. What is that, a scale? Can I look? Thanks. What do we got here, corgi? Look at those French bulldogs. The smell over there that I just, the best Frenchies, the smell over there is just really bad. So here we got the pins, Boston Terrier. These guys got really big signs. Please sanitize before you touch puppies. We accept major credit card, Visa, Discover, MasterCard. Okay, I'll ask you about the Frenchies here in a second. Hmm. They're just sleeping, they're tired. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. What is, who is that? Look at that dog. <laughs> Boston Terrier, is that what that looks like? It's a puppy? Oh my gosh, look at that one. I gotta admit, that's a cute puppy. Shih Tzu's Lee Pop Rinse on your heart. Boston Terrier with those Shih Tzu's. Hey, so this is a Boston Terrier puppy? This is so cute. Um, how much does that one go for? Thousand? Is that a boy or girl? Boy, okay. And then the Frenchies? They vary from 1250 to 2000. 2 2000, depending on size and color. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. There's your answer on that one. I'm not gonna go back to the first one. Maybe, maybe. AKC Lab Puppies. So this has a plexiglass here. That's kind of cool. And those look like, what do those look like? Corgis, those are corgis. Oh, you heard me? I'm like, what are those? Are those? Thank you. Your AKC labs, they come registered then. You get the papers and everything. How much are they? 650. 
Microchip. So you got clear. Where do you get the Where do you get the testing done? What? Kim Bark. Kim Bark. Okay, Kim Bark vet. I know them. Okay. Thank you. Look at the shredded paper. It leaves it. It grabs into their coat. That's a cool idea, but it's really messy. Oh. Mm hmm Me, everyone, I'm going against the grain there. Let's go, let's start back here. Well, let's just go. This is the um, this is where you would have grabbed it coming through the front, like I said, off the street. So let me show you this real quick in case you are kind of looking. So I seen the pins right here when I was driving. And so instead of parking over there, you saw me do a U-turn and go back. And you didn't see that, but I did a U. So you could park over here across this street right there where it's really busy. And this road is really busy and there's a lot of crosswalks. So I just did a U-turn and went back into town, just like a couple streets over. You saw me walking and just parked back there because I plan on being here less than two hours. So then here's Corgi. Corgi AKC and so I seen her pin right so she's she's got a matte tarp she's laid a tarp down and she has she's picking up a spot and she's also inside and she's got a goat over there how much are they six for the boys seven for the boys AKC is a thousand okay okay thank you yeah. Right. You'll feel the paperwork out now. Right. I'll hold them, and if you want to pay the difference later on, you got the full registration. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> Those huskies right there, too. Maybe I'll come back. It's kind of busy. So she's the first one right there off the road, you know? So we got... This it is a standard poodle puppy 600. They, she, they got water out. And, and they got one of these tarps up. With the tarp up here like that. The canopy like that. You want some roses? Or some benches? Let me look right here. I'll see doodle puppies. What is this stuff called? The shavings? The shavings? Is this wood or what is it? Chips of wood. Chips of wood? You get it at Woods or the feed store kind of thing. Do you like that best or do you like the shredded paper? Have you ever seen that? Like, I've never seen shredded paper thing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that. It's messy, but thank you. Oh, how much are they? Okay. How old are they? Nine weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. Male and female here. Two males. Okay. Thank you. Poodles and schnoodle. They're curly. Okay, I guess we're, yeah, we'll start back here in the line. Please do not touch. I like that. AKC Mini Dots is 1500 for boys. Look how small they are. Oh my gosh. Look how small they are. Oh my gosh. Look at even as a puppy they already have the maroon staining. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so tiny. AK CKC mini dots is 800. Oh my gosh. The AKC French Bulldogs 2500 for male fawn, female merle 3000. She got hand sanitizer here. Great Pyrenees. These shavings right here, I want to, I think I want to get some of that. I seen that on a video and I was like, you know what? 
They have shavings though in their water there. English Mastiff Mix. Oh my gosh, it looks like my dog. It looks like Angel. What? Oh, 250. And then the, the smaller ones are AKC for how much? A thousand for the smaller ones. Okay. Six weeks and eight weeks. Okay, gotcha. AKC hybrid. Thank you. So zip ties, the gri grids. I think the grid's pretty cool. See, they, do, they will rust though. And they put a little bucket right there like that. Oh my gosh, so tiny. Look at that. Look at that guy's hair. <laughs> Look at your hair. What happened? What happened to you? You partying? Oh my goodness. What are we? Where, where, what, are, what is this? What breed is this? Pompu? Pomeranian Poodle. Look how big this one is. Oh my goodness, look at him. Okay, okay, so that we're back here. So now we're gonna cut off. Um, we're gonna, you want something to eat? You hungry? Oh, something smells good in there though. We'll see, hamburgers and fish and fries. Must be the fish and fries. We got ice, ice cones. Let's go look over here and make our way over there where it's busy. I'm at 28 minutes right now. Oh, look at that one. The shavings are messy too though, huh? Look at you guys, look how pretty your face is. Look at your eyes. Oh, hi, I didn't even know you guys were back there. <laughs> how much are they? Uh, the last one, 15, the rest two. 2,000 or 15, okay. <laughs> how old are the $2,000 ones? Uh, nine weeks. Nine weeks. Uh, the blue one, that's my daughter, she's asking. 500? 5,000. For this one, this? Okay. Okay, she's three months old. Three months? So small. They're so cute. Thank you. Hi, how are you? What are they? Mini Aussie. Mini Aussie. Okay. How much are they? 500. Okay. How old? Seven weeks. Okay. And what what registered? ASDR. Okay. When you guys do your shots, do you um, do them yourself, or do you have a local veterinarian help you guys? The veterinarian. The veterinarian. Yeah, I would I would do that too. So when they go home, they don't have to start over completely again. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This just sucks. People don't tell them that. You know. If I did it at home, I would put the sticker. Yeah, we. Um, I'm a business with them, and I don't. I won't even take the sticker. Yeah. So I. So when they come in with a brand new puppy, I'm like, you have to start all over. You know, with the vet veterinarian. So. Yeah. Right. Right. When do you go in and take him for that? Six weeks. Yeah. Okay. Do you like the shavings? Yeah. Yeah. I seen uh, some like shredded paper. You know. Cages. The cages are so hard to clean. I have one of these pins myself. I like it. I just bought it this morning. Yeah? Here. Yeah. This You need one for an event like this. You got to contain them somehow. So that's true. I have a, a metal one, but it doesn't have clothes anymore like it used to. Right. Right. This, this Has it been kept outside? Uh, yeah. yeah. that's what happens. Yep. That's what happens. Thanks for all your tips. I appreciate it. They're super cute. Thank you. Hey, Casey, dad and mom. Yeah, look at look at that big man. Ooh, look at you. How much are they? One thousand five hundred. Okay. And how old are they at that size? Five months. Okay. They're pretty big, huh? Yeah, I was, I'm looking at this picture going, uh-huh, yeah. The same, are uh, you guys all together? Oh, okay. Can you those? Cattle dog? Hey, that's good. What's that? Blue healer, okay. 
hay cosas que se pueden nego no nego negociar. Oh, my So those are all you, I'll be like, where the haters at now? You gonna, you wanna come here and you wanna yell at me? <laughs> where are the haters at where, when the reality hits the fan? Not that one. You didn't know? You know now. German Shepherd? Yeah, here we go. AKC Sable German Shepherd, first set of shots, first round of dewarming. How much are they? How much are they? 700. 700, thank you. She's cleaning that pee up right now. Look at that, we hardly ever see those guys. Look, Rinko doll. Look, we hardly, look at his, he's got cherry eye though. Poor guy. Hey, cute. Hardly ever see those guys. The ones I know are pretty mean. The ones I've ever met are pretty mean. Hey, how are you? How much are they? Uh, I got the males for 1,500 and the females for two. They're okay. all AKC registered. They're up to date on shots. They're seven weeks old. Okay, thank you. No problem. They're so cute. They're so tiny. <laughs> how are people doing there? They're walking out on that side? Okay. Yeah, this is a good news spot. Okay, gotcha. Let's walk out here. Look at, these. look at your face, look at your brindle. You playing with a toy toy? Look at that paw, it's huge. Look at you, my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at the ears. Hi! Oh my goodness, you guys are so cute. Look at those ears, they're cute. What do we have here? Corgi puppies, nine weeks old, first round of shots, six weeks, dew claw, removed, tails docked by Spencer Veterinarian, both parents on site. These puppies are healthy and ready to go. Sold, sold, CJ, and then we've got phone numbers there. Did it say how much? I don't see how much. Oh, what are these? Hi. How old are they? 14 weeks, okay. The shredded paper thing again, you guys. Look at his eyes, her eyes. I mean, she's itching everywhere. Look at her front. Uh, it's, there's a rash there. It's really bad. It's a poor thing. And the eyes are really dro drooling. She's bleeding here. Maybe it's fleas. Miniature schnauzers, nine weeks old. Shots and deworms, seven. Shots and worms, male, female, eight, seven hundred. Look at the haircut. Not it from here. <laughs> you guys can see the runs in the, the blade needs to, is the blade is dull. On the haircut, the blade, is that a 30 blade? Is, did, you, did you use a 30 blade on the back? A 10? A 10 reverse? You don't know, okay, okay. It's really, really to the skin. So cute though, look at that one. How old is that one? The smallest one. They're both? Both nine weeks old. That was so tiny, oh my gosh. The paper's all in the food. That little one is spitting it out. Oh my gosh, look at the face. Oh, look, it's like this tiny. Seven, did he say seven weeks old? Look at that one, it's so tiny. Miniature schnauzers. Okay, R&B, uh, mini toy, tri trays, uh, Merle's with rights 800, so it'll give you the health tested, ASDR. Hi! Look at that. Them shavings just sticking all in their hair, huh? Yes. You're lucky it brushes right out. 
Look at your blue eyes. Oh my gosh, do they all have blue eyes? Look, look at your smile. Look at your tail wagon. Hey, you have a blue and a brown eye. I see. Hi. Pet only. Mini and toy. Tricolors 400 Merle 6 cleared through parentage. And Casey registered American Bulldog puppies. They're knocked out. We got one. Over here. Uh, Australian Shepherd. Look at the blue eyes over there. How much are they? 400? Okay. How old are they? February 1st. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, exactly. Thank you. Dotsons? Long haired Dotson, I hear you say that? Miniature. How old are they? 10 weeks, okay. And how much are they? Eighteen hundred, okay. Reduced from two grand or three thousand, okay. Three thousand down to eighteen hundred. These little guys right here, they have the same sire as my last uh, bred by AKC champion. Okay. Same sire. Okay. And then she's um, her grandfather is a Russian import. Okay. Okay. And the Russian import is here in the U.S. now. Yes. Okay. Do you like the pin? Oh, the baby pin, you I, like this? This is all I use really? for my puppy puppies. Right. They're in a whelping crate, and then right. when they get about four weeks old, they go into these baby play pins. Right. And then when they graduate out of this into just a play area, okay. these just go in the trash. Really? The whole thing? Yeah. You Walmart. throw the whole thing away? Yeah. Okay. And because I don't want to use them with a different litter. Right. Okay. And I, I just watch Walmart.com. Okay. Online, they're so much cheaper. And okay. I think, uh, 30 bucks for this. Wow. Brand new. Yeah. Okay. This one's a little lower to the ground than I'm used to. Right. But um, usually I can get the Graco, the Graco play pins for thirty. You know. Okay, that's 30. good to know. Oh yeah, these things are great. And then huh. those are just. Um, How many would you put it put in there like that? You feel like is the max six. If you yeah. had ten, would you put ten in there? No, right. How, how many would you put in there? Well. Yeah, six is even. Yeah, I six is a bit much, much, right? Yeah, I try to put one litter. Okay. You know, one one playpen designated to one litter. Right. Now these are two different litters, but these guys are old enough, you know, now where right. this was just easier for me to throw in the car. Right, right. Especially for an event like this. Oh, you know, yeah. this is this and perfect. Not on the ground. Yeah. When you guys come out, do they allow you to drive up and drop your stuff off and then pull back out? Or yes, yes. okay. So you don't have to have a wagon to take your puppies out. No. You know what I'm saying? No, That's I'm so not. messy. I was like, how would that work out? Oh, it, uh, I agree. I, I didn't know how. I had to come work. check it out first and kind of well, understand. I, this is my first time doing this. Okay. Um, so yeah, I had talked to somebody who had been here before. Okay. So One of the guys over there said his booth rate like this was 75 bucks. Is it cheaper being over here? No, they're all. They're all. Forty dollars. I said 75. Okay. Well, Oh, okay, being different prices. Okay. Really? Was it better business on the front row? Was it? Can you walk around and hand out flyers? You can't, but can you? <laughs> oh, I see. So if it's from sun up to sundown, what time do you guys get out here? I was here a little after Okay. Could you, and then could you drive up here at nine? No, you had to bring them in. You have the wagon. Yep. And they let you bring in on the wagon. I was like, they let you bring them in on the wagon. They didn't jump out. <laughs> Hand carried. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Thank you so much for your tips. I appreciate you. Okay. Let's go see you over here now. My ice pack here has died. Let me check you guys heat out. You guys are okay. Okay. I didn't know ice packs could die, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Is that it? Hold on here. I'll watch my time. What time is it? 41 minutes. Not bad, man. You can really come in here and get a puppy and be gone in like 20 minutes if you want. Oh, we got this whole row right here. 
Looks like people are coming this direction. Does it? Nah, we'll go in here. So right here, look, Performance XL American Bullies. It's like I've seen them before. Oh, look at the gray, my goodness. What'd you say it was? Okay. Look at the coat, it's so pretty. 1800 to 2700. How old are they? How old are they? Three months? So pretty though, you can tell the quality. Well, I can't, I can't, I gotta take that back, I'm not sure. I say that, but there's a, it looks pretty, the dog looks pretty. Oh. My. Look at the spots on that one. I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll come back. 5% fee, 750 on the cards. We will be back Sunday. Take a card. Right, let's just say, take a look. Yeah, well, and also watch your wallet. What? Someone can pickpock your wallet. It's, it's like hanging out. Okay, what's that? King Corso. Oh. Is that a puppy? <laughs> oh, yeah, so the ears have already been cut. Oh, look at all the staples. See all the staples there? Look at all those grays. What are we doing here? Oh, it is Cane Corso. Oh, is that? No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey. And the the ears on this. I don't know what they take them out for the cut. And the guy down the like, he's not down the street, but he's in Dallas. He's in, uh, I was 57. So I dropped him off at 8. I had 6. And he got done at like 12.30, 1 o'clock. Orange Meyer, I haven't seen you in forever. Look at your nose. Oh my. Look at their eyes. Their eyes are all red. Look at how blue your eyes are. That's a Brown and blue. Right here. I'll take him. Okay, he's off of a son from Dirty George. He's a little male, like little male. And oh, he's off of a Johnny Tatt. Yeah, yeah. Along with Tatt, it's a Tatt. Yeah. One of the little Brenda windows that I can't see. Yeah. That's the mama. Does he throw a chocolate prize? One black one. Oh, you want to throw a Huh? You want to throw a Remember, since he's like a micro, he's like 13.5. And then my female, she's like 12 inches. So okay, so yeah, they won't be Because the female is a mama. The mama doesn't grant a chance to get my little. Yeah, I can hear a lot. I hear a brindle a lot. Yeah, because I got three brindles out there. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I let you guys hear the conversation there. Look at this. Look at that puppy. Oh, 
Yeah, you can't video. You can do anything on the street, oh, but okay. you can't do anything on this. But you oh, okay. you're welcome to stay. Oh, the you're street. here. This is yours. No, uh, this is all mine right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, but you can do anything from the street that you want to. Okay, but you can't come on and video. Okay. Yeah. Great. All what right. is Thank what you. is what do you mean? This is all mine. Like the event, the itself? property. Oh, the whole property. Not okay. that side. No, I don't own that. Oh, um, so I'm about two separate people. Okay, gotcha. So there, you're saying this this line yeah, here can, is. I'm saying that you can do anything from the street that you'd love to do. You can sure. do anything from the street. Sure. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, who are you though? I mean, like this is pretty cool. Oh, I live here. I just this was my grandfather's place. Oh wow. Yeah. Is he still alive? No, uh, he uh, started it in 1959. 1959. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long time. Yes, it is. Been in the family a long time. So this is really cool. I'm kind of uh, like sharing it with the public. Right. And so I we're, I have puppies too. And yeah. I'm just wondering some of the best things to do. I, you come to the best to right. find out like how they're holding them. and Right, how, right. Like I didn't know to use the grid wall. Oh, yeah? Like, hello. Yeah. Like, and I don't mind you but taking notes or yeah, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what you we're doing. You just can't video. Right, right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. I had a few people call, so. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, what, yeah. So, I can't aim this direction at all and look at that stuff? You can do anything from the street. From the street. Okay, yes, gotcha. Yes, okay, gotcha. I can't keep you from doing anything from yeah. the street. That's right. the deal. Okay. But if you turn in and buy my property, right. you know, you can't do that. Okay. Yep. Can I ask the vendors if I look at, if I walk up and I see a puppy? Not can with I your ask camera them? on, no. No, okay. No. Okay. You can you can turn your camera off, put it away, and okay. then you can go talk to anybody. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Yeah. And okay. what's your name? Lisa. Lisa, Dee, Dee nice to meet All you. All right, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Thanks for being polite about it. No, I don't mind. I, I, yeah. I start out, that's how I start out. Yeah, appreciate you. I got a question for you. Okay, let's go. Let's go way down here. And I'm about to run into... No, I'm good. I got 48 minutes. How do you think I'm going to Let's go down here and then walk back up. And I have done lost my place, I'll be honest with you. You know, I just wish sometimes I was a lawyer. I don't know if that's reality or not, but this is all outdoor public right here. And I don't know that I'm not threatened by that, but I just don't think that's fair. However, if I walk inside someone's business and they ask me to stop recording, that may be different. But since I don't know, I'm not going to fight back. It's not worth it. It's almost as if they're doing something wrong and they don't want you to see it, right? So we're gonna come down to this walkway here and then turn back around and see what they got. If you're gonna have animals of any kind and you're doing something wrong, don't do it. But why would you not want to be aired? That's, that's dumb. If I had puppies and I was trying to have, even to charge a rehoming fee, if I was, Look at all those roosters in those cages there. If I was um, trying to rehome my pets, I'd be like, yeah, please air them out. As long as I ain't doing nothing wrong. Look at all those chickens. And look at that. They've got eggs. C pig farm. Oh, what's over there? They've got um, donkeys over there. And we got... Okay, so this is out going out of the dogs. Oh, my gosh. There's a whole... That's a whole row over there. What do y'all think about that? Did you guys write anything about it? Why do you have to cut on a dog? I just think that uh, we're in a public, we're, we're public, we're on, I don't know. I just, I'm gonna keep my comments to myself because I don't know. Yes, you can use a telephoto lens from the street. <laughs> she doesn't want people to see the poor conditions. No way to know what kind of breeders they are. This is so sad, Melanie says. Are these good breeders or puppy mill dogs? You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. You're just here at the you're here at the mall. You're here at the dog mall. Animal mall, chicken mall, rooster mall, pig mall, pigeons. Wow, those guys are not even jumping out of that. They're not even jumping out. Mine would be like out of I here. Know, my, what? My All right there. That's a gold cage. I never seen one of those. Yeah, we have one. Yeah. 
Well, how much are they? 200. The cage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where'd you get that? Or do you guys have a maid or? The cages? You guys sell cages yeah, too? Is this is this your? Do yeah, you rent this? Is, this? Yeah, this is ours. Yeah. All the time? No, we just barely built it. Built it? It wasn't there. It was wait, wait, wait. like this. Like those, oh. Just like that. So this is your situation uh -huh. here? Yes. Cool. Um, we're gonna have kennels. We're gonna have dog food. Just like. This is so. This isn't just a weekend okay. thing then. So this would be full time where you could be. Yeah. Someone I'm, could be I'm here full time. Be here for at least five years. What? That's the no. So this is not just first Monday and then oh, it's no, dead. No, no, no. It is oh, first no, Monday. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Every first okay. Monday we come. Yeah. Not every day of the week. Oh, no. Not every oh, day. Oh, dang. Week. You're not going to work that hard? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why? Okay. I'm just kidding. Now all the people come. Right, know. right, right. So first Monday, you guys will be out here and this will be your. How, did you buy it or rent it? Renting. Renting it. Can I ask how much? To rent? Yeah, to oh, rent 500. it. 500 bucks. What? That's not bad. But it's only one week in a month, right? Yeah. Yeah. So So this is this is your crew here? Yes, mm -hmm. this is ours. So then how many do you have puppies like that often? That you do? Uh, how many yeah, mamas do you have? 5. 5 moms? And so do they go on heat twice a year? No, no, you no. do it no. like once a year. And then they is it right they don't mount, you have to inseminate? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah we'll get like I got um Thanks. Once once we go throughout the year by like November, by next year, we'll have like 10 females. Wow. Yeah. So where are you based out of normally? Arlington or like? Roy City. Roy City. Oh, okay, I know where that's okay. at. Yeah, I got a, a groomer friend of mine They have a dog house in the back that yeah, we made. It's made their whole house. Because yeah. you it's can't a, sleep with that, shed. can you? No, you ain't getting no sleep if they're in the house, are you? I'll show you. Yeah, we build them a whole... Wow. Like Is it air conditioned and everything like that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, air conditioning, cameras, candles. Uh, same thing like this. So but this is that's when they were putting it in. Okay. And then wow. that's whenever we're like doing the construction side. Okay. Of it wow, that's awesome. Them. There's not an after. We need to take one still, but it looks really nice. Wow. You got the after? Oh, yeah. Do you have a um, do you have a card or can you text me? Yeah, yeah I can text you. You have a card? You have a card? I don't think he has a card. We okay. Have a number. J yeah, just text me. Don't put it out there like that. Here, oh, I'll yeah. put it here. They know my number, but I don't want to give yours out. Look, we have a... Okay. Yeah, put your information there for me. Okay, yeah, we'll text you like the that. information. Okay. So you're, you groom dogs? Yeah, I groom dogs, okay. and I had a litter recently. Um, my doodle and a pit bull got yeah. together, and so okay. I just wanted to get ideas. Oh, look, that's the inside of it. Oh yeah, that's nice. So I'm doing. The, I have cages like that too, but they don't open up from the top. They just open the front. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the cages, man. Yeah. Oh no. Well, these open. I don't like the, the cages side. at all. These are our. That's that's our page. If you want to follow it. Okay, I got it. I'm live oh, yeah, right yeah. now. I'm live right now. That's why I had her text me. Make sure she texts me. Yeah, I'll text, you yeah text, text me. Yeah, text me. Like these open from the side right here and from right here. Okay. And you can open the top. Right I like the gold aspect yeah. of it. Well, I really we have do. Another gold one. I think really? it's the last one. Okay. Put your name on that text yeah, for me. You guys are really cool people. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for all the questions. Oh, yeah. All right. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Good luck. Want some towels, some shoes, blue healers, stumpy bloodline 300. Oh my gosh. They're so small. Wow. Look at this great day. Woo. Oh my gosh. Don't get run over. Oh my goodness, you're so tiny. I didn't see that dog coming. Look at that lady holding. So you could come down here and totally rent a building or that, I guess you, that guy rented that space and then they built that building in there. That's pretty cool. So he's renting that first, that's kind of cool actually. So 500, 500 bucks a month, but you're only here on first Mondays. Like all these, maybe it's the same thing, 500 bucks. Look at all these, look at all these, this is Dog Alley, okay? This is called Dog Alley. Every one of those inside there has, has dogs. Ooh, look at those miniature schnauzers, micro golden doodles, and mini golden doodles. Rachel, this event's been going on for hundred years. Hundreds of years. I think they probably have some kind of, uh, 
some kind of a rule that they're allowed to do it or something or in this county like in this county or whatever Sharpays, that's what I could not think of that breed that one that wrinkle dog we saw Look, oh my gosh, that one's hairy There's one in that cage up there that's a really pretty color Really? The bottom cage Oh, whoops, I got her all up in here <laughs> Wrong view Right behind you Register Mini Dotsons All sees 100, long coat 800 what is that? Oh, look how pretty. It looks like a lion for real. Look at this dog. Oh my gosh. What were you thinking? Oh, he <laughs> said she just found one she wanted down there and he wouldn't take it. And then he picks this one up and he's like, we don't need a dog. And now he's, I'm like, oh. Kids. Is this your booth? No, no. Oh, okay. My no. daughter's getting a dog. <laughs> What's your daughter getting? Uh, that, um, I don't even know what it is. Oh, husky German, German Shepherd, Shepherd Husky Mix? Yeah. With the blue eye? It's blue and, got one blue and one brown. They have a dog that has a blue and a brown. Really? Look at this poodle right here. Oh. Blue eyes. What is this one? Morky Poos. Mork Maltese Yorkie Poodle. They're using a pin right there too, a baby pin. Pomeranian Schnoodle Malty Poo. Oh, there's the shavings. That's what those shavings look like right there. It's called pet bedding. Right, KC registered pets jigsaw birdie may up to date on vaccinated to eight weeks old. The signage. Man, you don't know. Look at this lady's poodle. Oh no, is that a poodle? I don't know. It needs a haircut. <laughs> it's hairy. Okay, I'm more. I'm wore out. Are you guys wore out? At least I got that whole row right there. I got that whole row before I was stopped. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I actually came out here to have fun. And I have some lady. Why do I always get yelled at? I always get yelled at, man. Someone's always trying to tell me something to do, man. For real. Are you guys still with me? I mean, you guys are not commenting, are you? Nachos, turkey leg. Happy Easter, Great Dane, Min Pin, Standard Aussies. Look at that kennel. That's an old kennel. That's the same kind I sell, too. Welcome, mini pin, mini pin man. Standard Aussie. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This, this thing. So what they did was they built this themselves and put, just got the pin, the pin grates. But to clean that out is gonna, that sucks. To clean that would suck, wouldn't it? To reach down in it and clean it out. I thought that guy was gonna t t tell me to stop too. <laughs> the Puppy Barn, Maltese, Yorkie Poos, Dotsons. There's some back there, let's go back. I'm gonna lose my place, oh my gosh. Are you guys as lost as I am? Want some cleaning supplies? Don't sit down if you're not eating a customer. Shih Tzu Mal Shi. Oh my gosh, what are those right there? Look how small they are. Oh my gosh, he's holding one up. Look how small that is. What do you say, five weeks old? Oh, 500. How old are they? Seven weeks? Is that Chihuahua? Just Chihuahua. What? Teacup Chihuahua. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. 
You know, this is also a fucking. Is it? Mm -hmm. How old? Six months old. Six months. He's great Pyrenees and golden retriever mix. Golden retriever. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, he's dad. Oh, man, look at those dew claws in the back. There's a double dew claws in the back. Yeah, great Pyrenees. Yeah. Did you breed him? Mm -hmm. No. I got him on Facebook. Facebook? Like marketplace or? Yeah. yeah. Look how tiny those teacups are. My gosh. They're so small. Want some rabbits? Great Dane puppies. Wow, there's a one, two. So this is also built too. And then you can take that metal grate stuff. And this kind of looks like you can wrap that metal grate around. Yeah, see, it's actually folded on the edge. Oh, that might be rubber. That might, actually might be rubber right there. No, that's metal. Oh, look at that poodle right there. The one. So knee high is pretty good if you build it yourself and they're outdoors with coverage. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's find our way back. All right, this is kind of good because my phone is just about to get warm now. Oh, let me not walk. Don't walk up into. Don't walk up into that. Pitbull, Pitbull's bully. <sighs> okay, let's figure out where we where we went and how we came and all that stuff. Is this the road? Where is? The glass doors. It's like fiberglass. Fiberglass doors. I've never seen that before. Have you? I want to say I go straight here and cross the street. Does that seem right? Did we? Yeah, we did. We came on that row. We came on that row. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's what we're going to do when we go up here. But it was less cars when I came down, it felt like. Look at that. Oh, watch where you're walking, Dee. Look at that poodle right there. <laughs> Look at that poodle. That's cute right there. Look at that dog. Look at that green one. You guys could be making some of this. Come here. And those right there. What are those, dog clothes? Hmm. Human clothes? I'm not sure. Okay, well, that was my experience here at Canton. Uh, I wouldn't give it a five stars. It was something I could say I've done. It really makes me think about things. How does it make you feel? I needed to see for myself. Would I bring my puppy here to find that a new home for one or two or five would i do that i i don't think i would my this is just a diary talk right now i honestly would rather keep mine i'd rather keep them all forgive me if it's you don't like it i'd rather give them away than uh, to bring them down here for some reason i just to, that's my feeling. That's what I feel right now. Even if I was desperate, I wouldn't come here. Um, and I don't know that I'd come back. But this is something that happens every first Monday of the month. For folks who want a puppy, this is definitely somewhere you can come. It's, I can't judge because I don't know how they were. Okay, hold on, let's focus. Let's cross the road. It's that guy. Go, go. It's not like I'm judging. I have puppies at home, you know what I'm saying? I'm not judging. But I saw some of the... It just makes you think, doesn't it? It makes you think. Um, 
and I'm rambling because I'm also thinking about, and you guys write in the live chat, write what you saw, some of the cute puppies out there. Some of them could be just like me, like the dogs get pregnant, you know? And you're like, well, we can't keep them. Oh, it's expensive to keep your puppies. You also want to share your puppies with someone else, maybe. And, um, man, I saw, there was things that I've seen. Remember I told you I used to do that feet, that uh, stock show or the paint horse show here in T Fort Worth, Texas. And the folks that would bring the puppies, remember I told you about that. I'm not going to repeat it all. It's too much. But the condition of where they were at, you could see by the scars on their feet, by the ear infections they all had, by the coat, by the urine, by the all those things. And, and let me just say, I have to wash the puppies, spot wash them, keep an eye, trim them, trim their private areas. I have to, light, like I put, put them in a pen yesterday and let them all play outside on concrete, right? Not dirt, at my salon. And I had to, I let them play for a long time to wear them out because I've been transitioning them and getting them used to a kennel has been really tough on them because they're used to laying with each other and sleeping with each other. So I've been really good about trying to adjust with them and also help them adjust to themselves. And let's sit down here and I'll sign off here and I'll get myself a coffee. I'll support a local business here. First, let's make sure my car's still there. Hold on, my car's right over here. So let's just make sure it's still there. And I should say I'm giving myself a two hour limit. So I have, it's been 67 minutes. So I started as soon as I parked and I may have one hour or less. And I also want to just spend one hour here and head out because I have puppy duties. But a lot of people have puppies. A lot of people sell puppies. And you are allowed to sell or so-called rehome. You charge a rehoming fee. It is what it is. And depending on the city and county you live in, just like with everything else, and I love that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's, there's actually a really cool, like a lemon lot when I was pulling in on the highway. You can, 50 bucks a month, you can park your car there for sale, just in case you wanted to know that. But, uh, yeah, my car's still there. Yeah, I can see my car. Okay, good. Let's go over here, support the local business, support your community, folks. This little cool bank looking coffee shop, that's pretty cute. And they have this awesome lounge area. Let's check it out together. And I'm probably gonna have to let you guys go because I haven't checked my battery life in a second. I'll check when we sit down. But, stop saying, but. I think it was a really cool experience and it was definitely eye opening. I wasn't here, I'm not here to call anybody out, but I, I can't help because of what I do for a living to just also take note, right? So all the poop caked up into that one i was it a frenchie while that guy was holding the puppy it was all that poop you know there's just it, it's it's having puppies and caring for them it's not as easy as it looks and they're walking around in their own poop and especially in an environment like this if they've been there since six o'clock it was at 1 30 or two o'clock right now i mean what else are you gonna do right bring water there's no water hose i didn't see a water hose did you so like it is what it is you know what i mean and <clears throat> Let's sit down here in this really cool patio area here. Look, this is pretty cool. I want to sit in this chair. Ah, maybe I should face this way. I want to face this way in this chair though. This chair is cleaner. So I don't know that I can get a drink because there's a really long line in the drive-thru. But thanks for watching DD Crow with my favorite groomer. I hope I showed you what reality is out there and a cool place here called Canton. And part of me wants to come back tomorrow and show you the other side where you actually shop and buy some really cool stuff, but I don't think I'll do that today. I think um, I'm tapped out on time and I wanna spend, or, or tomorrow, I mean, I'm not gonna do it today, it's just, just too much. But you could easily stay the night in this little town and do the puppy thing one day, have something to eat, get a coffee, walk around, sit down, enjoy, instead of just hustling. I'm always hustling. It's the only way I squeeze in time. My battery's dying. But it's the only way I squeeze in time to myself. It's like, get up, work, work, run around, do some fun stuff, work, 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 and then go to sleep. Go to sleep working. <laughs> Maybe there's a window on the other side but let me close you guys out first and then I'll figure that out over there
This is really cool. I like this a lot. This is an old bank. Like there's the poles, you know? So, hey, if, look at that the next time you see a bank, old bank closed down, you know what I mean? Sorry, it looks like a huge puppy mill. Very sad. Why would you buy a puppy there? Please don't support. I'm not. I have puppies at home, girl. <laughs> um, I have puppies and I wanted ideas on... And I also, there's a, a breeder that I talk to quite a bit and she's a supporter. She, if you haven't noticed, my air dryer that was in my grooming room is gone. She bought that from me. She has corgis. If you need a corgi or want a corgi ever, let me know. And again, you don't know the conditions unless you go there yourself. So I've been filming everything that I'm doing with the puppies I have. So people that, I would be like, hey, no offense, but everything's on film. And my puppies were healthy before you took one home and if you took one home and the pet puppy got sick, it was not because it got sick where it's at in my house and in my salon. You know what I mean? You get to see. We documented birthing up until current, you know? So the downfall is, is anytime you pick up a puppy anywhere like this, it is down. You don't know what the facility is. And when you come out and bring all the dogs here to sell them or rehome them or charge a fee, I didn't hear anybody giving them away for free. But you can't bring, I guess you could, if you're making really good money, why aren't you? Like that guy, he decided to rent the 500 and have his own place. I wonder, I don't think there's water in there, but you can, just like when you RV, travel, go camping, you bring water with the hose. And so if you wanna keep it clean, you can, it just costs money to clean. It costs money to keep clean environments with the animals. Is it necessary? You could see how necessary it is here. Yeah, charm, exactly. I, I, if I had to give away my puppies, I, I actually have a, a few ideas. If, if I can't find homes for the puppies that I have, do you guys want to know? I don't know if I should say, I don't know if I should say it out loud. Um, but I already have a plan. I have three plans. Three. And I don't know I want to share it on this video, so I'll share it later. Because some folks that will watch the Canton video will not watch all the rest of the videos I've had. So I want to keep that between us in case um, some really cool ideas and you guys watch the story on those ideas, that would be so cool. So if I cannot find homes for the ones, and I'm picky, I'm gonna be picky. I had some people, I had like 67 people like really want a puppy, but I'm pretty picky. I had one lady, she called me and she wanted this and this and this and I was like, uh, I was like, um, she said something about her mom. So then I said, oh, okay, so your mom is gonna, you know, be involved so why didn't she call kind of thing and so then I finally said I, I don't want to be rude but you don't have to answer if you don't want to but how old are you and she was like 16 I was like oh yeah 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 well um, why don't you talk to your mom and then if you're serious about wanting a puppy have your mom call me you know so there's I'm that's just one example but there's some adults that I'm sitting here like well uh, you know like just picky I guess um, here you can't be picky here, you, you, you wouldn't want to be picky here. You know, it'd be like, what are you trying to be picky here for? Okay, I've kind of said what I need to say and I think I'm good, but I, I didn't know what to expect and now I just know what you can. You can find every kind of puppy here in Canton, Texas. And if you're interested in coming, it's again, first Mondays and it doesn't include Monday. It's the last weekend into the Monday of the first month, first of the month. So the last weekend, into like today's April 1st. So it was, it started Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then they call it first Monday, but they're not open Monday, I don't believe. So you can check it out at Canton, Texas, look it up, Google it. And um, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. Let me just really scroll through. From here on out, I'm just gonna go through my live chat real quick and then say goodbye, because my phone is saying, hey, Dee Dee. It almost locked screen, MP, did you see that? I can only go far as far back to Liz. Liz, hi, Joey, what's up? MP, hey, Senior Fly Girl, what's up? Cheryl, Daniel, what's up, Daniel, New Zealand? Hey, girl, Pookie Puppy, Lori from Virginia, what's up, D-Bogs, what's up? D-Bogs was crying. I don't know if that's a good person, bad person, I'm not sure. MP, what's up? 4 p.m., thanks for writing all that down. I should be able to kind of, if I go out there, go that way, my car should be like right over there. No, my car is like on the other side of this building. Okay, good, good, good. Wow, Orange Moose, I miss you. Where have you been? Um, thanks for the donation. Thank you, Orange Moose. 
Okay, I'm scrolling down. What's up, Jane? Hi, Nikki. What's up, Addy? I don't know what that character is, Addy, but it's cute. It looks like a ninja. What's up? Hi, Rachel. Um, hand sanitizer for doorknobs too on your way out. I did not touch it. I just touched a piece of metal. That was it. I was really conscious about what I was touching. Seven weeks. What the heck? I'm glad those puppies aren't on the ground. There was a lot more on the ground, wasn't there? Oh, America is something else. Healthier puppies are yours. I don't think I don't think honk you should sell puppies at seven weeks Rachel I honestly have been feeding my puppies already since six weeks because mom couldn't feed them because she would vomit because I think it was too painful when they would bite her nipples because they all had their teeth so at six weeks why not let that bonding start with, with the new parents and I went ahead and said I, I don't mind letting these guys go at six weeks if someone would give me a puppy at six weeks and so what do I mean? By Thank you, Senior Fly Girl. Thank you, MP. Thank you so much for your donations. I appreciate you guys. If Rachel, going back to the finishing that conversation, is if I pay, I would pay more for a puppy earlier. But let me just open your mind. If you ever helped a rescue group, which I have many, by the way, and you get a puppy a dog that has had puppies and that dog will not feed their puppies then those puppies have to be bottle fed so then those puppies have already left mom at one week old so then you have puppies at six weeks old that are not feeding because they already have all their teeth then mom can't feed and someone's either bottle feeding them or feeding them the mush already then why can't that be the new owner already it can it can they can already start their bonding at six weeks because by the way if you don't know you don't know and now you know mom isn't hanging out with the puppies for any reason other than to feed them she can't even i tried it she can't even walk in the room and hang out and lay and teach them how to love it's not that it's lay and let me eat your milk that's it it's let me bite your nipples off while you're like after they get their teeth but before they get their teeth that's all good and dandy but if they get their teeth they can't feed anymore so i think it's okay but we don't know you guys know because you watched it live on my youtube channel but you don't know why they're here at seven weeks do you you know what I mean so then will you ever know you won't ever know you won't know what you won't know nothing you won't know nothing 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 I always tell you guys if you're buying a puppy to go look at it and have them give you a tour so if you can't get a tour then mmm food for thought Nikki says as someone in the UK I'm finding it fascinating you just walking along <laughs> oh my gosh right Kibble is multicolored. No, nah, that was Cheerios. There was Cheerios in those, okay? Seriously. It happens all over the place. How do you trust these breathers? Are there any controls? I don't know the laws here. Not necessarily. They show at these flea markets all the time. And there's more than this, just this particular market. This is just first Monday. It's a big event. So this is definitely, people can rent, obviously. So what happens if no one buys them? I'm guessing they are dumped. Oh, I don't, you, you can't guess that. You cannot, you cannot assume. You don't know until you see it. Where is this at? What would I look for online? I kind of mentioned that already. The thing that does make me feel better about this is that quite a few got sold. I have to go too for set for me. Please don't take your puppies here. Thank you. Okay, good night, bye. Why is someone feeding a puppy Cheerios with sugar and food dyes in it? That's why I'm wondering it like, no offense, but if I'm eating chips, I eat chips we eat cheerios i have eaten cheerios um i had cinnamon toast crunch which i don't eat cereal very often like a week ago so if i give my dog one of those i mean i ate it you know why do we make things like that in general why do we big question isn't it why do we sell that to the public <laughs> it's addicting it's called sugar okay i'm scrolling 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 Shih Tzus do not do well in heat like this. This is actually cool and it's still hot. So just imagine when it is the thickest summertime and it's 104 degrees. None of these dogs should be doing well in the heat. But let me just say this, a lot of dogs are kept on farms and stuff like that here in Texas and they're in the heat. It is what it is. Pookie says, I personally don't care for AKC registered puppies unless you're planning to show. This is just absolutely breaks my heart considering this is what Carol said. All the effort and love I put into my litters. Oh, maybe that's because I care. So sad. My puppy is standard poodle. He's six old, six years old now. Two dogs said, yes, I, I don't 
like that good outdoor sales place. I'm just now watching this and getting caught up series. Really, like it would be so hard to provide a panel cover to keep the sun off of them. Some of them had umbrellas, the tarp, uh, a makeshift umbrella situation. It's got to be tough. Two dogs, I lost my standard party mix about six years ago and I still miss her. We will always miss our dogs that we've lost. Yeah, when I got my Wheaton Terrier, the breeder tried to give her to me at five weeks and I said, no, she's staying with her mom until eight weeks. I also paid 50% up front. So here's the thing, take the ride. My, the mom can't go in the room without being tackled to, to eat. So I don't really know. I want you to know that. When you don't want to take the puppy at five weeks old, there's nothing different that happens except for the bond with the other puppies. There's nothing else that would have been different. Mom can't go in the room. I tried it three times and she would be attacked and they would just go, they wouldn't want to lay with her. They would just want to eat, you know? Ma'am, so to order something, I have to be in the, is there a walk up window yeah. on the other side? Okay, I was like, dang man, look at all these cars. I'm not gonna be able to get in there. Oh, so go on the walk-up side. So I, I am going to, I was telling them I wanted to have a coffee, oh, yeah. but I was like, ah, oh, gosh, I have to go figure it out. No, you're good. There's, you have to go around this hole. Okay. okay. Hole yeah. Before. Thank you. You're welcome. I wanted her to know, like, I'm not sitting here just using her chairs. Those owners are not on top, not uh, too on top of tending. Marcy, I agree. Breeding rights, breeding rights means allowing you to breed. That's more expensive, maybe. That's her saying, relinquishing that to you. But propylene glycol on your hands and touch the puppy, I'd rather hand out disposable gloves. Me too. But disposable gloves cost money. Bulldog puppies cannot stay outside in 22 degree weather, which is current temperature in Canton right now. So they are probably overheated, which is why they are motionless. My gosh, Wayne. Thank you for the update on that. That's a good idea, shavings inside of a baby bathtub. Man, my, my dogs will not stay in a baby bathtub. They wouldn't even stay in the adult one I was putting them in. They were trying to jump out. Tiger, he was jumping out, pulling himself out. Wow, where is this? Selling puppies at seven weeks is wrong. How sad. And the temporary kennels are rusty and filthy. So sad, Krista says. I don't like seeing puppies not have room to run around. This is like TJ shopping in the pet section at the outdoor markets. Canton, Texas, I think that's like a large flea market. It's the one I went to years ago and have a dog section now. Cutting the ears is brutal. It really did. I, I zoomed in so you could see like, wow, you know, just to get the look. Here, here's the thing though. There's a lot of people that fix their own bodies to get the look, whether it's um, fake boobs, facelift, surgeries, you know. I mean, it, everything that's surg surgical is brutal looking. I'm almost going, I'm almost done. Scrolling back. Oh my gosh, second warning. Okay, I'm almost done. Cropping the ears can be a, yep. Are these good breeders? Yeah, we wouldn't know that. Oh gosh, my friend's in Boston. I really wanted to go. Way too many dogs in small spaces. Every dog out there deserves the best family. You did great. Sad not to be transparent. Oh, thank you for that, Jane. Why do you have to cut on a dog? Why do you have to cut on a dog? Because there's a particular look they're going for. Just like when we cut on ourselves. Right, you can use a telephoto lens. No AKC hybrid either. That I have heard of. That I have heard of. No transparency allowed. Wrong, absolutely wrong. No way to guarantee their health. Parvo, kennel cough, dog allergies. So many puppies in way too small areas and clustered. And, and dog flu is really um, profound right now. Look it up. Funny, doesn't want you taking a video because she's doing wrong and doesn't want it shut down what is going on. It's dangerous and massive health violations. It'd be interesting to follow some of those people back to home where they keep the dogs. We would be horrified. We won't know. Wonder if Animal Control is aware of this event. It's public now. May, my 12 year old Shih Tzu has become very nippy. How should I manage grooming her aside from a muzzle? Exercise gene. Animal control in Texas is overwhelmed. Amen. It turns my stomach. My, I'm Texas. I'm Texas. It's awful. This almost reminds me of the places where they sell dogs for the food. It's a little disturbing from the point of view. Hopefully no foreigners get any weird ideas. Well, this is live now, Charm. Turns my stomach and makes me cringe. I'm with you, Jacqueline. I have been to China. This is pristine conditions for an open market right? I'm just shaking my head, read, thinking ridiculous. Yes, tired of this craziness. Still here. Hey, thanks, Jane. I just got to the part about cat video, had calls. Obviously, the one, the one thing she did not inherit from her grandfather was integrity. This is sad. Your puppies don't belong there. They are too good to be sold that way. Just saying. You read my mind. This 
This is insane. Didi, watch your time. Thank you very much. This is the advantage of getting a puppy from a setting like this is you might not know the conditions they were raised that could affect health. Amen. Glad, and so that's why some of the folks were saying that they had the testing done and who and like Embark is a common um, place to get testing. Matter of fact, I'll be getting some DNA testing on the pit bull to just be clear about her. And I'm working with them on getting that any day now. In my wildest dreams, could I have ever imagined a despicable display of babies like this, but what an education. Thank you, Senior Fly Girl, and thank you for your donation. Did not support a place like that. I wonder how many of these puppies go back home or the cheap ones dumped somewhere. I would hate to have to ask that question, but you know I would. I always went to the breeder's home or rescued. Only one of my dogs were from a store. This is an, uh, this is on another level. <laughs> Cookie puppy. Grand Serene Bubblo, thank you. Anybody know the address on this place? I'm wondering if I could get someone's attention to legally check it out. It's totally online. It's a huge event. Take the ride. Thanks for taking us along, Didi. Got a totally new perspective of what this looks like. Sad. I agree, Pookie, and disturbing. Exactly. I agree, this place makes me sad. Poor dogs out in the sun all day, these puppies. It's type of a livestock market, I guess. It doesn't feel right, though. So why is it right to also do it with cows and horses and pigs and goats and rabbits and chickens? And why is it right to do it, any of it? Did you see that a celebrity trying to fight for chicken rights? The livestock markets and rodeo stalkers I've been to out in the West Texas are all shade coverings. There was shade there, but just the people who popped up for the day didn't have shade. Thanks, Dee Dee. Sad to see. Peterson, hey. Crazy. Thanks. Go home and love on your babies. I am. Sorry, but looks like a huge puppy mill. So very sad. What this and that. Thank you. Earlier on this, uh, earlier on there was a little brown puppy scratching vigorously and weepy eyes not cared for. Do we think that, that if fleas were on that one, oh, that they danced on down to chew and multiply? Yeah. So her chest was bloody. I, did you hear me say that? I was like, like, she's on her phone. Was she on her phone? And I was like, she's bleeding, you know? It, and her eyes were really, it's, it's just poor conditions, super poor. She came from poor conditions. She, she didn't get that way here during a one-day event or two-day event or three-day event because it started Thursday. Something is up with that. That's definitely health problems. I would give that dog away to a shelter <laughs> or um, a rescue group. I mean, that dog needs help. So glad to hear you say that you would, won't bring your dogs down there. I know, right? This kind of, I, I was like, I'm not going to do that. Let me go check it out. Let me go check it out. And then when I looked at a couple videos, I was like, man, I might actually get some really cool ideas on what I'm doing with my dogs because I'm cleaning a lot and I want to refrain from spending so much time cleaning. When you're kennel training, you're cleaning a lot at this age. So I really wanted to fine tune what I do and be better. And I was like, why not go to where they do it every weekend, every for 50, 100 years, you know? Very sad and disturbing. Anyone would feel good and confident about your puppies, health eating. Take a ride. I think you meant won't laugh out loud. Discerning and judging are two different things. The scripture says to discern the spirits. Thank you. Picky is good. Picky is very good. This was a brilliant live stream. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you so much for your comments, Wayne. Be safe on your way home. Love you guys. Puppies are cute, but people forget they grow, need space, and exercise. Amen. That's why I've been like put, taking them out onto concrete at my salon. Uh, Mandy says, I was picky who pu my puppies went home with too. I don't breed anymore, but have three dogs, Chihuahua, Ch Ch Cock Chickapoo, Cockapoo, and Labradoodle. Where I'm, I'm at, veterinarian care has gotten so expensive, upstate South Carolina. The vets here take you under the goal coals. It's so hard when you guys misspell to like keep talking right. Which is so before you hit send, reread it yourself. Which is sad because dog receive dogs receive less care. It makes me sound like an idiot when you guys misspell your right, and I have to read it out loud. Just saying. Post pandemic, our veterinarian clinic isn't as good as it used to be. Actually, the vet veterinarian clinics out here are so huge. Even the one that hurt my dog built a brand new facility and hurt a client of mine's dog the other day. I adopted one at five weeks before that was bottle fed. Yeah, exactly. Surprise and kind of upset you saying six weeks is okay. No, no, it's not. S again, misspelling. I'm going to just go Cornelia. I disagree. If my mama dog is not with the puppies at all anymore, why do I have to make that puppy stay with me? Why? When that puppy can go to a loving home. Mama dog cannot be with all the puppies all the time. And if they're gonna hang out it's only about feeding so if the puppies have all their teeth mama is to completely out of the picture completely so I challenge you that's just idiocracy 
my wheat interior is not fixed and I wanted to breed, like I said, I'm gonna skip. My Lulu's um, mama died after birthing. Breeder had another mama dog that took over nursing, thank God. See, otherwise the person, which could be you, if I have a puppy I have to bottle feed, why can't that be you? Why can't the new owner bottle feed the puppy? That is gonna bring that connection, it would be huge. That's my opinion and you can have your own as well. Cropping in my country is forbidden. Uh, what was the cat video comment in reference to? I don't know. Oh yeah, part of the reason I did not want my puppy at five weeks old is I wanted her to have time with her siblings. They still occasionally, but we're eating food out of a bowl. I think I gotta go, my phone's dying. Thank you, love you, bye. Thanks guys, I appreciate you guys. See you, bye.